Welcome to the second part of the Trinity. This is called the Trinity formula because what the Trinity really is past um, technique on how to get better at mills and single arm 360s and switching mills from side to side is a formula that I use all of the time in free flow. Um, it works. So I wanna talk about it just a little bit before I kind of get into the tutorial. Um, it's really a mentality of creating momentum with the mace versus just going from pose to pose to pose. And there's nothing wrong with going from pose to pose to pose, landmark to landmark to landmark. That's definitely a map. Um, but you can also use momentum to get places. So if we think in terms of using momentum, um, the way that I actually like to think of um, this formula is a sentence. So I create momentum by using rotation to start the sentence. And then when I fall into a pose, that is like my period. So all of the rotation in between and all of the uh, transitions are the words, okay? And with that, here we go. Hello family, and welcome to the second part of the Trinity Flow. But what we're actually gonna call this is the Trinity Formula. So in the first video, you learned how to do a minute. Come around for a 360 and grab a mill and switch sides. Okay? So what we're actually doing when we do that is creating momentum, okay? On both sides. We're also, you know, equaling out or balancing both sides. Sometimes maybe our mill isn't so good on one side and our 360 isn't so good on the other side. So by getting in this flow of both sides and building this momentum, we create balance, right? But there's something else we can do with momentum, right? So when we use momentum, we can just add to that momentum or we can stop momentum. So something very simple is when you go to catch the mace in the middle, right before you switch, what we're actually doing is we're landing in a certain spot. We're landing in the battle pose, okay? So from here, right, this is a position. I just add the move. I can start again by pulling the tail and pulling myself back into momentum. Okay, so now the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a foundational move from level one. Step two. Pretty soon, we have expanded on the trade flow into a full on flow. Switch. So, for me to switch this grip to the other side, besides pulling it and going into a mill, I'm just going to do something very simple. Okay? 
It's very much like a prayer switch, except it's just right in the middle. I'm just going to slap my hand up. And then over. Okay? So now, what we've done is we've just expanded this flow even more. And now we've created balance on both sides. So, I'm not going to explain all those moves because there's a lot going on there. But you get the general idea of you can use these three moves to build momentum into other moves. Okay? So, with that, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you find some flow within it.